Hey, this is Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on the Lim. Annyeonghaseyo from Korea. Yes, I'm actually here in Terminal 1, Seoul Incheon Airport. I uh, took a really early flight, UA805. Is it 805? Yeah, 805. From San Francisco to Seoul, uh, departed late, uh, but it was a great flight, uh, awesome in-flight service by the person. Uh, so I finally got here, but uh, the thing is, it's only 5 a.m. right now, yeah. The airport does look pretty busy at 5 a.m. But uh, it's a 5 a.m. on a Thursday. Is it Thursday? Gosh, I've, I've, I've lost track of time. It's actually Friday morning. It's 5 a.m. Friday morning, and I'm actually here, and my hotel is not ready yet, right? So uh, in situation like this, usually you either uh, book a hotel the night before so that you have a room, a uh, secured uh, room to go uh, when you checked in, or uh, just find other places to kill time. So one of the good things about being here in Seoul, Incheon, is that there's actually a, a spa or a Korean sauna here on site at the airport in Terminal 1 that people actually can use. It's actually open 24 hours. Uh, they can actually use to kill time uh, until your room is ready in the city. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go uh, check my bags first, you know, just kind of keep it for a few hours because I think Spa and Air doesn't have enough space to actually accommodate all these uh, big carry-ons or check-in luggages. So come go and live with me and see how we can kill time here in Seoul Incheon Airport while we wait for our room to be ready. Folks, before we start, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notify button for new content that I upload weekly. Kamsamida. So, Spa on Air is actually located in the basement level of Terminal 1. Uh, it's easy to find. There's also a capsule hotel in Terminal 1. If you'd like to be confined in a tight space for a few hours, uh, you can do that. When you take the escalator down to the basement level, on your right you see the uh, directory uh, for different places and you see the Spa on Air logo with a little steam and two people sitting there which is really cute and that is actually a sign for Spa on Air which is located on the east side of the basement level. You pass a food court before you get here and across from Spa on Air is actually the entrance to uh, the city train. Uh, which is really convenient. It's quite dark now because it's 5 in the morning. Now the admission price ranges from $14 to $18 depending on the time of visit. You can also use just the wet area for about $7. So the reception area is really spacious and I was actually wrong to say that they don't check your bags. They actually do keep your bags uh, securely. Uh, There's bigger ones on cards. Uh, it's actually left outside but they do actually close it with a net. I think it's pretty secure. Uh, just make sure you lock your bags though before you get in. Uh, once you get in into the men's area, you see shoe lockers on your left. This is where you store your shoes. And inside is the changing room. Uh, worry not, there is no nudity here. I had to make sure of that before I filmed this. <laughs> And in the uh, wet area, you see some shower stalls and three mini jacuzzi with water uh, of the same temperature, around 104 degrees Fahrenheit. There's actually no dry sauna or steam room in the wet area. After you're done with the wet area, you use the cart to enter the co-ed area. The cart is actually used because there are separate entrance or admission fee. And here you actually see a lot of people relaxing, sleeping, especially, you know, if it's really early or really late. You also see two saunas, one with around 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is actually where you can actually lay down and sleep as well in heat if you like. The second sauna is a normal uh, sitting sauna uh, that's actually hotter and this is actually where you can get a proper uh, uh, heat treatment before your flight. There's also a common sleeping area, this is co -ed. although if you prefer to sleep uh, you know, amongst your own gender, there's single sex sleeping room to be found as well. Hey guys, so this uh, spa on air was definitely great. Uh, I was here for a couple of hours. Now my hotel room in the city is ready, so I'm actually gonna just go and check in. Actually, you don't need to find another place to store your luggage because they actually store your luggage here. And of course, if you have bigger luggage on like luggage carts, it's stored outside. Otherwise, they actually store your luggage inside as well. So uh, easy place to actually relax. If you have time to kill before your flight or after, uh, this is definitely the place to come. By the way, they didn't pay me to endorse this.